with Bob Iger returning, Big Papa Iger coming back to lead Disney again, he's the CEO again, we've already seen that he has a couple of things in mind, a couple of things that he's doing, including he's reining back the sheer amount of content that Marvel's been trying to put out, which I have been saying for a long time is absolutely something they've needed to do. They have been stretching Kevin Feige far too thin, and the less and less Kevin Feige can have direct quality control over the stuff that's coming out of Marvel, we've been seeing the quality of Marvel product. Hey, a lot of it is still very good. A lot of it is still stuff I love. But overall, the quality of the product has dropped. And Bob Iger coming back in and saying we're going to reduce the sheer cont- the sheer amount of stuff that we're producing, which I think is a good move. There's no need to be putting out eight different things a year. There's just no need to do that. So there's that. Now, we've all also expected a few other changes, but Bob Iger on a call the other day at a big uh, sort of convention at the Morgan Stanley Technology, Media, and Telecom Conference, mm-hmm. Bob Iger was asked about the status of Marvel and Star Wars and things like that. Now, on the Star Wars side, he said, look, we're still being very cautious because we hit a couple of bumps in the road. The solo movie was was the lowest performing Star Wars movie of all time, even though it ended up being a pretty good movie. And obviously, the reaction that a lot of us, including me, had to The Rise of Skywalker, which is as bad as the prequel trilogy, probably one of the... I would even say it's worse than... uh, Return of the or uh, Revenge of the Sith, um, not as bad as say Phantom Menace, or definitely not as bad as Attack of the Clones, but still one of the worst Star Wars movies they ever made. It's just awful. So he said we're still being very very cautious about that. But he said a couple of interesting things about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and and he said this. He said with Marvel, he said there are seven thousand characters. We're reading up up here. There are 7,000 characters. There are a lot more stories to tell. What we have to look at at Marvel is not necessarily the volume of Marvel stories we're telling, but how many times we go back to the well on certain characters. Sequels typically work well for us, but do you need a third and fourth film for an individual character, for instance? Or is it time to turn to other characters? All right. First of all, everybody knows... I idolize big Papa Iger. I idolize, I idolize Iger. He is the best, you know, entertainment executive uh, in the world. He's just the best. <laughs> Simply the yeah. best. But. Right. Is that a Yelp review? <laughs> but it's a Yelp review. I had a fabulous experience with Bob Iger. Highly recommend. But. I couldn't disagree with him more on this. Ooh. Um, now, look, you don't go back to the well just for the sake of going back to the well. You want, like any movie, you want, whether it's an original or like a first time out with the, with a character or your fourth, fifth, or sixth film with the character, you still want to apply stringent, harsh quality control stuff that Marvel's been lacking the last number of years. You can't just expect to do Thor 4 and just expect it to be great. You got to approach Thor 4 as if you were doing Thor 1 or as if you were doing Iron Man 1 or as if you were doing Captain America 1. You got to approach it with the same stringent quality control stuff. And if you do that, and if you do it well, these characters become beloved. And we want to go back. Guess what? James Bond has been kicking at it for what? 50 something years? 60 something years? I don't even know how long James Bond's been around. <laughs> Since the 60s. Me. But nobody's like, move on to the next character. No, we all want more James Bond. We want better James Bond, but we all want more James Bond. Like when we are watching Daredevil, guess what? In one season, let's say the, ep- the seasons were 10 episodes, people are tuning in to watch Daredevil 10 times a year. 30 times over three seasons, and they're getting ready to do an 18 season, an 18 episode season. We will go back to these characters again and again and again, as long as you keep making them good. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, 
and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Guys, it's the new year. Do you remember those New Year's goals you promised yourself you'd stick to? HelloFresh is here to help you eat better by delivering fresh ingredients and easy recipes right to your door, taking the hassle out of dinner time. Looking for an easy way to eat well and save money? Cut back on expensive takeout and delivery and get started with HelloFresh. You'll love how fast, easy, and affordable it is to whip up a restaurant quality meal right in your own kitchen. My wife Anne and I have been constantly impressed by HelloFresh. Not only how absolutely delicious the food is, but how easy it is to prepare and how much fun we have doing it. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia60 and use the code Campia60 for 60% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Campia60 for 60% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. The problem isn't that you're going back to the well for a third or fourth time. The problem is that at some point you're starting to rest on your laurels and not applying the same active, intense scrutiny to your quality control that you used to do at Marvel. The problem with Thor 4 wasn't that it was the fourth film of the Thor franchise. The problem was it wasn't as well made of a movie. Whether it was the first film, second film, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, or tenth. And I would also suggest that this massive influx of new characters, and you need to have new blood. Right? You need to have new blood. I love that we've got Ms. Marvel. I love that we have Shang-Chi. I, 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 I'm very excited about Blade coming in. But if you just try to do sweep the decks, bring in everybody, and, and all the fans are just going to be the same because people aren't fans of characters. They're just fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You're going to find out real quick that that's not true. There is a philosophy out there that people are not necessarily fans of the characters in the MCU. They're just fans of the MCU. And whatever characters you have in there, it'll work. You're in for a rude awakening if you think that. Because it is the characters that make people fall in love with the MCU. That's what makes it work. Is the characters. Everything. And Rob also always talks about getting, it's about characters, it's about characters, it's about characters. You develop these great characters And you have a lot of them and you should be peppering in new ones here and there. And sometimes you need to recycle out the older ones. I get that. But I think one of the weaknesses of the newest phase is the fact that they've gone so heavy into just bringing in the new. Screw Hawkeye. Here's little girl Hawkeye. Screw Captain America. Now Sam is Captain America. Forget uh, what some of the other, forget family picnic Hulk. Here's bull cut Hulk. Yes. He's eating, man. Can you not bother him? He's yes. eating. Here's, here's bull cut Hulk. Forget that. Like, it's just, they've been throwing so much new, like so much new. And I love new, but you, you throw so much new at it. That's like, well, this isn't the thing that I've been following all this time anymore. Well, it's not really even new. It's like derivative. Mm-hmm. A lot of derivative. And, you know, I've got to think about derivative, but. Listen to this. He also goes on um, to talk about, maybe if I spelt it right, give me a second. Uh, Yeah. He also went on to talk about this. He talks about what can we expect from the new Avengers? And I'm not going to lie to you. This comment worries me. He says, there's nothing in any way inherently off in terms of the Marvel brand. I disagree with him. I think there is. And we've talked about the over, overproduction, lack of quality control. And I think he's addre- I think Bob Iger is wisely addressing both of those. But anyway, he says, there's nothing uh, in any way inherently off in terms of Marvel. Again, I disagree. I, uh, Iger su- uh, suggests, but I think we just have to look at what characters and stories we're mining. If you look at the trajectory of Marvel in the next five years, there will be a lot of newness. We are going to turn back to the Avengers franchise with a whole new set of Avengers. Whole new world. Oh. A whole new world. Oh my God! People, Bryson came into this. <laughs> a whole. I want to emphasize these words here. Whole new set of Avengers. Now, obviously, he's talking about Kang Dynasty. He's talking about Avengers: Secret Wars. And there's different ways to interpret what he's saying here. But when he says. Uh, for example, we got a lot of news. For instance, we're going to have a whole new set of Avengers. 
Now, maybe that was just a figure of speech is saying, hey, there's some new Avengers. We get, we got, like, when we just have a couple of new Avengers, say, hey, we got a, a whole new set of Avengers. That doesn't necessarily mean it's all new Avengers, but the way he said it, and I heard the audio recording, and again, this is just interpretive. I, I, I could be off of, I hope I'm wrong about this, but the way he said it, it sounded to me like you're saying, no, it is like, hey, all the Avengers who were on the team before, no, no. It's all new Avengers. All new. And I'm not going to lie to you. That, that kind of worries me. I, I think that is kind of missing one of the key elements of what makes the MCU so successful and so long-term is that you have your roots in these characters that people love to follow. People follow characters. They don't follow franchises. There's obviously exceptions to that. Of course, of course there are. People love their characters. And I, I mean, there's a reason why when Spider-Man No Way Home came out and Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man repot, everybody got super excited. It was already Spider-Man. The movie was already Spider-Man. People lost their minds because these characters, the Andrew Garfield Peter Parker, the Tobey Maguire Peter Parker, them coming into this universe made people lose their minds. And of course they did because we follow characters. We love characters. We get attached to characters. And while I do not believe that you should just keep recycling the same thing over and over again, in the midst of transitions and in the midst of trying to bring in new things, you don't abandon the things that are your roots. And I worry a little bit that maybe their trajectory is a little too much of a overall wholesale transition from getting rid of the things and the characters we've all loved and now we're not. I, again, this is just my fear, right? This is just what I'm worried about. Whether or not they're going in that direction, whether or not they are actually he heading for a wholesale reshuffling of the deck and all that kind of stuff, we'll wait to find out. Maybe they're not, and I hope they're not. So this is just my worry speaking. This is just my, my fears speaking, my anxieties about the MCU speaking. But we'll see where they go from there. Guys, question is for you. How did you interpret what Bob Iger is saying? A couple interesting things about Marvel saying, ah, we don't really need third and fourth installments. Really? If you find characters that really resonate with the audience, you don't want to go, it seems to have worked, uh, or saying that the next iteration of the Avengers is going to be a whole new set of Avengers. Good idea, bad idea. Maybe you think it's exactly what Marvel needs right now. Maybe you're like me and that makes you feel a little bit anxious. I don't know. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there.